More than $2 billion worth of trade floods across this border every day. 75% of Canadian exports go to the U.S. So any talk of tariffs shakes the very foundation of Canada's economy. To me, the most beautiful word in the dictionary is tariff. And it's my favorite word. Trump has threatened at least a 10% tariff on all goods coming into the U.S. If you want an example of just how complicated that would be, consider the average North American car crosses the Canada-U.S. border as many as eight times in the process of being built. Half of the cars we make in Canada are made by American companies. Half of the parts that go into the cars come from American sources. Flavio Volpe helped frame Canada's response during Trump's first presidency and believes there is room to negotiate. We managed to show them that uh, their interests were best served uh, with us than any other partner that they have. The auto industry, steel companies, aluminum products and the dairy industry have weathered this storm before. But now, even industries that made it through the last Trump presidency without much disruption are worried. Any type of uh, distortion in that trade with our American counterparts will have a direct impact on the 65,000 grain farmers whose livelihoods uh, are all across the country. Now, individual industries brace for Trump's proposed tariffs. The bigger picture is one in which Canada's GDP could be cut by as much as 5%. The, the relationship between Canada and the U.S. is not only important for grain farmers, not only important for agriculture, but also important for the Canadian economy at large. Now, for all the concern about the state of the Canadian economy and global trade, financial markets certainly showed no sign of those worries today. North American markets especially hit the highest level we've seen in two years as investors really embraced the news of a Trump presidency. Yeah, we certainly saw that with the U.S. dollar as well. It was up. Uh, what does this mean for the loonie? The loonie, like just about every other currency, was down against the U.S. dollar. Now, look, that's welcome news for those exporters we've been talking about who'll benefit from the exchange rate. But for those of us who buy anything from food to machine parts to holidays, it means the prices just went up significantly. All right. Peter Armstrong, thank you. You bet.